Terry. This is what we call the upper section. But if you walk down toward the lower section, Henderson, your Henderson County taxes are going to help maintain that one. This is one of only a handful, maybe only one of two or three cemeteries in the county that the county commissioners have agreed to maintain the lower section. And the reason why they agreed to maintain it is because in the late 1800s and early 1900s, it was a pauper's cemetery. When people died, they didn't know who they were, or they had no family, or they had no money, for whatever reason, they would bury them down in the lower section and just put an old field stone there. So we don't know who everybody is down there. But we know that before that, before the Civil War, there were black people buried in that lower section. Because one of the oldest graves we've got is that of a free black lady. It was a free black, Ellen Jones, aged 28 years, born 1784, died 1812. You can Ooh. read it down in that lower section. Um, this upper section belonged to the Miller family. Now, when we go down to Old French Broad, now, I don't know if anybody's actually going to walk up into those woods today. That's your decision when we get there. <laughs> but Andrew Miller's a Revolutionary War veteran, and he's buried in the Old French Broad Baptist Church Cemetery. He and his brother were brothers in the county, and they own, I swear to you, if you go up to the courthouse, well, not this one, you have to go to Brunswick's courthouse, and start reading the deeds pertaining to Henderson County, they owned half the county. Andrew Miller and his brother were land speculators. And after the revolutionary, that's called like a real estate <laughs> or a developer, a developer. Mm -hmm. And they came in here as soon as it opened, 1783. 1783, one of the first landings. They started buying land, thousands of acres all over Henderson County. And then they would sell it to the other settlers that come in. The other brother never actually lived in Henderson County. He, they were buying land all over Buckman and everywhere. The other brother never actually lived here, but Andrew did. And this was the land he lived on. And he's buried at Old French Broad Baptist. And the Miller family tells me that they established a mill right in here somewhere. And they had a pond. That's why it's called Mill Pond. The King land that we're going to talk about at Old French Broad was right next to this. So the Kings owned the land down to the French Broad, which tells me that the Millers had to have owned the land that way. Like toward Real West High and Rugby and all that is in this section. Jenny, <laughs> that's the pond. That's, the pond. Mm -hmm. yeah. that's Mill Pond. That's where the mill was. Okay. Um, there are 10 Confederate soldiers buried in this cemetery. Uh, several of them by the last name of Barnett, Fowler, lots of Lanes, Liveret, McCarson, and Miller. So that gives you the names of this area of what we call the rugby community. Um, and I think that's pretty much what I wanted to say, except that there was an old back in about 1880s, 1890s, for only about 10 or 20 years, there was a Presbyterian church here. So there were some people buried here that went to that church, but I can't find a soul that said anybody went to that church after about 1898 or something. And the old building stood here throughout the 20th century, and finally, maybe 30 years ago, somebody tore it down. But it just stood there dilapidated and empty for almost a century. But it was located down in this section. The Miller family, stories say, had the grandest house in all of Henderson County prior to the Civil War. It was supposed to have been what these early settlers thought was a mansion. But that just kind of gives you an idea of how rich they were. And I cannot figure out where it stood. But somebody told me they feel like it had to be over there on the left, maybe toward where West High is. Mm. <laughs> uh, if anybody wants to take the time to walk around, that's up to you, or we can just drive on and out to Old French Broad. With the snow like it is, you may not want to walk around. You can come back another day and walk around if you want to when it's prettier. If that's okay with everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs>